Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jake Pimentel here from Pime Technology. And today I am here yet again with another video. And this time we're gonna be taking a look at AT&T's C-Band 5G Plus deployment. So as you know, I've done videos on Verizon's 5G UW and T-Mobile's 5G UC which is all the different carriers 5G deployment using the mid-band spectrum. Well, today we're gonna go out and take a look and see what AT&T is doing with their C-band plus DOD 3.45 gigahertz deployment. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video and check out AT&T's 5G plus. All right, so I am at one of the DOD plus C-band AT&T upgraded sites in my area. This site was upgraded probably about five to six months ago. And you can see right there, we have the LTE and low band NR equipment on the left and the right antennas. And then we have the DOD plus C band in the middle there. You can see the two distinct antennas stacked on top of each other. I have been able to confirm that DOD plus C band aggregation is enabled on this site. There are many, actually most sites right now do not have DOD plus C band aggregation, although the hardware is there and both of the frequencies are turned on, it will just flip back and forth between the two instead of aggregating the two. So let's go ahead and run a speed test on this tower. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the service mode menu to see what we are using on this AT&T site. So we have band 2 at 15 megahertz, N77 C band at 40 megahertz, DOD C band at 40 megahertz as well, and band 66 10 megahertz as well. So uh, when I, I notice when there is two carrier aggregation enabled on the DOD and the C band, it doesn't aggregate any of the other LTE bands, just band 2 and band 66. I have seen band 12 pop in and out, but for the most part, it's just that right there. So we have a total of 105 megahertz. Let's go ahead and run another speed test here that's not in the background. So we get an accurate test result. So as you can see, we're pulling about 700 megabits per second, which is really, really good. This site is limited to one gigabit per second backhaul, so we're not expecting to see anything really above seven to 800 until that backhaul is upgraded. Hopefully AT&T will do that soon here. I believe the backhaul provider in my area is Cox for AT&T. So um, pretty good speed still, it's about 700 on the download, 78.8 on the upload, 30 millisecond unloaded ping, and very good loaded pings as well. So this is a very solid connection. Let's go ahead and run a file download test to see what these speeds are like in real world. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and download a one gigabyte file. We'll see how quickly that downloads. AT&T is just letting me know. I'm almost at 22 gigabytes. I'm on the AT&T Unlimited Max prepaid plan. And as you can see, it downloaded that in less than 30 seconds. A whole gigabyte file in less than 30 seconds. We'll go ahead and run it one more time just to confirm that we are getting these speeds. But yeah, on this C-band connection with the DoD and the C-band combined, it just absolutely flies. It downloads one gigabyte files like butter. So this is really, really good. We don't have any issues with routing or anything like that. What you see in the speed test is what you see in the real world when downloading files. So as you can see right now, I am directly in front of the tower, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a speed test about two miles from the site to see how far this first, the coverage, how far it goes in terms of range, and then also see what the speeds are like at two miles away from the site. So let's go ahead and move to an area that's two miles away where we can still catch the C-band and DOD. All right, so now I am about one mile away from the cell site, as you can see here. I'll also show you in Cell Mapper that we are connected to that same exact cell site. 
So let's go ahead and see what the speeds are like about a mile away from the C-band plus DOD cell site. Even at a mile away, we are pulling about 400 megabits per second. Wow, looks like we're gonna reach 462 megabits per second download. And it looks like our upload is going to be around 30 megabits per second, 31 millisecond unloaded latency, and very good loaded latency. So this is very, very impressive. All right, so I am now two miles away from that C-band site, um, and I am still picking it up. Uh, so the coverage is very good here. Let's go ahead and go into some information. So looks like, let me run a speed test. All right, so although our uh, LTE site has changed, our NR has not. So you can see we're still getting P NR PCI 88, which matches all the other ones. And we're still aggregating both C-band and DOD. So as you can see, the signal is pretty weak in this location. Um, it seems as though the DOD range is significantly better than the C-band, which is very, very interesting. It could be the limits we have on the power of c-band but my c-band rsrp is around negative 108 here so pretty weak but the dod when it was uh my primary nr band seemed like it was actually pretty strong here versus c-band so um, that's very interesting but uh let's go ahead and run a speed test and see what we are getting here so this is two miles away from the c-band site and wow, we are still pulling about 300 megabits per second, give or take. So that is absolutely incredible. And it looks like we're getting about 10 megabits per second on the upload and a 33 millisecond unloaded ping. And our loaded pings are much higher, but still pretty decent in general, especially for the signal conditions. So yeah, as you can see, um, we have band 2, 15 megahertz, N77 and DOD, 80 megahertz aggregated together, and band 66, 10 megahertz. And as you can see, this is the DOD, and our RSRP does seem a bit better than the C-band. That is something that I've been kind of repeatedly noticing, negative 100. So it seems like the DOD does go a bit further than the C-band. Let's go ahead and run one more test. At two miles away so yeah about 220 megabits per second this time and about five on the upload uh, so still very very good for being two miles away this is excellent. The LTE in this location is nowhere near what we're pulling on the C-band and DoD combo. So this is a very promising deployment, and I think AT&T is going to do just fine with this DoD plus C-band spectrum. All right, that is going to be a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed a quick look at AT&T's 5G plus using their mid-band C-band plus DoD spectrum. I think AT&T is doing great stuff with this spectrum. More of the spectrum will open up later this year once the satellite deadline uh, for the clearance that the FCC set is up. At that point, Verizon and AT&T will have more C-band to go around. So we'll be seeing faster speeds and more capacity. But overall, I am very pleased with what AT&T has put out so far, and I hope that they continue to deploy this into more suburban and rural environments outside of the top 46 PEAs. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like up down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you're updated when I upload new videos. You can also click the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. And also be sure to share this with anybody else, maybe if they have AT&T, so they can see what the experience is like on a 5G Plus connection. Once again, thank you all so much for watching this video. Smile because you and Technology are amazing.
and peace. We're out.